learned helplessness is a psychological condition that's experienced by both people and animals, and studies around animals can teach us an awful lot. The best example I can give you is the forced swim test, and it's something that we all experience in our lives. If you take a cup of water and place a mouse in it, this is for research purposes only, it will try to kick against it and tread the water. Now, that mouse will eventually give up, right? However, if you take the mouse out of the water and it knows that eventually it will be rescued, it never stops kicking. Meaning, it has hope. Another one involves shocking dogs, and yes, I know this all sounds very cruel. It's generally not done any longer, but there's a lot we can learn from it. This involves putting a dog in a crate and shocking them after a bell rings. They learn that if they go to the other side of the crate, they will not be shocked. If the dog is shocked randomly, then they just stop reacting. It doesn't matter if you put a barrier there. However, if you take a dog that has been shocked randomly and then place them in a new crate, they will jump to the other side. What it took was a change in environment to get them out of that headspace. This can be related to how we feel when we are helpless, when bad things just keep happening and there's nothing that we can do about it. So these are animals. How can we apply it to ourselves? Well, to be fair, we are animals too, and we also display remarkably similar behaviors. If you've spent your life and just event after event after event happens to you and you have no control over it, you might just stop trying. You might stop trying to get yourself into a better environment, and that is learned helplessness. And for some people, we just keep repeating the same behaviors again and again. I know many of us just over-explain ourselves because we've been misunderstood so many times in the past. If we just explain enough, maybe they'll get it. I'm sorry to tell you they probably won't. Sometimes you just have to accept being chronically misunderstood. It really is gambling, kind of like how you might give your dog some food off your plate some of the time, but they'll never leave you alone because it is a gamble. One thing you have to understand when it comes to psychology is that your brain is not out to get you. You are not purposefully trying to sabotage yourself. I mean, maybe you are, but not generally. Things working some of the time is your brain's way of trying to survive so you can continue to refine until you have the behavior down, but it misfires. And when you never succeed, when you have no control, your instinct is going to be to just go with the flow, in the case of mice, literally. And dear God, I don't want to be that motivational person. If you feel stuck, if you feel like there is no way out, if you feel like the bad times are just going to keep on rolling, understand that you might need to change your behavior. Yes, other people's behavior sucks, but you know what you can do? You can stop engaging. You can stop over explaining. You can stop asking for something that somebody can't give you. I have been told that's like going to the hardware store for oranges. No matter how many times you go to the hardware store, it will never have oranges. So stop asking. Go to a different store. And as I like to tell myself with my own life, the only way I can really fail is if I give up. Which I know, I'm giving mixed signals here. I try for what I want, and if it does not work out, I at least know at the end of it I gave it my all and it probably just wasn't possible, not under the circumstances that I was on. And yes, I am incredibly irritating because I just, I don't give up. I try everything possible, and I would suggest to others just try. I do realize this video had mixed signals. Our mousy friend was never going to win. This was an experiment to see how long it would try. And yes, life does feel like that sometimes. Good luck, gods be with you. And don't be the person who spends their life saying they always wanted to do that thing. Just do it.